comes to mind when you think of the earth. So t I'm going to draw a tree. I think of trees when I think of the earth. You can draw along with me, or you can stop now and draw your own idea. Whichever way is fine. First, we are going to make a curve this way. And it's almost like a backward C, but it goes a little bit more. Then, on the opposite side, we're going to make the same curve, but opposite. So this one will look more like a C. Like that. Are you starting to see how it's coming together? This will be the trunk. Then, I go, I make a, a V. V, V. And on the same side, V, V. A sideways V. And over here, I'm going to make a straight line in and another straight line in. And then here, connecting these two, another V. These will be the roots. Now from here, I'm going to bring a line from the tip of this V to close to here. So I'll go down, 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 down to close to the middle. And then this one. I'm going to go down, 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 close to the middle. This is a branch, and it's kind of skinnier than I wanted, but it's okay because branches come in all sizes. Now, we are going to add the leaves, but we're not adding one leaf at a time. We're going to make a big bushy tree, like an apple tree. So we'll go loop, just making a bunch of curved lines, almost like a cloud. Just keep doing curve lines all the way around and meeting back at the trunk. Right there, we have our tree. But our tree is floating in the air. Do we want our tree to float? No, so we're gonna draw, draw grass. So we're going to do zigzag lines, but they're going to get smaller. So watch this, zigzag, zigzag, smaller, 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 until it's just a line over here. Zigzag, zigzag, smaller, 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 and then a line. Look at that. You've done it. You can add details. I like to add a little apple to my tree. So we want to make, to make an apple, you do a little, a little loop. It's almost like a very flat uh, U or maybe like an upside down rainbow, kind of. And then we're going to do, it looks, it's almost like the same movement we do with our magic C. We're going to loop all the way around. See that? And then I like to add a little leaf. So curve line and then a matching curve line. And I think today I'm going to make my apple happy. It's a happy little apple. So you can do whatever you like for your Earth Day picture. This is what I think of of Earth Day when I think of Earth Day, but you are free to, to use your imagination. Make sure you save your pictures or take a picture and share it with your teacher. See you soon.